didn't come off the puck, and he goes for interference. So, one minute and 45 seconds potentially right off the draw. They score! Jesse McCauley lets it go from middle point. The campus center erupts as the Lakers take a 1-0 lead. That's the best way you could ever win a faceoff is... As Leibrock stepped in and won a very clean draw, which came right out to Jesse McConney, and no Cardinal had a chance to react on the play. And a laser beam from number 28 gives the Lakers a 1-0 lead. And you do not want to get this crowd started early in this one. The whiteout trying to black out the Plattsburgh Cardinals early. Whitelaw comes in to throw a shoulder and a Taylor, but Grace will come back. Three on two for Plattsburgh now. Grace into the zone, pulling up. Grace to the circle. Backhand feed right through the goal crease. No one connected. Lakers try to come back now with Moody. It could be a four on two. Moody to Rodriguez. To Whitelaw. Score! Can't do it much better than that. John Whitelaw does it again. The point streak for him goes to 10 games. The lead for the Lakers goes to 2 nothing. It was a developing four on two that started with Luke Moody after he fielded a rebound off the backboard. Got it up ahead. Started the three on two break. Beautiful little saucer pass to Paul Rodriguez, who tries to center up the back defender, Grace. Bates him, gives it to Whitelaw, and he one times it straight through the five hole of Matthew Cano. Two nothing Lakers. This crowd is elated here at the campus center. That's a one, huge goal late one. in the period. Near side for Rodriguez to t- try to tap it back. Rodriguez right in front. Whitelaw swing and a miss on a puck that was elevated to the point. Joseph fakes the shot and hands it off to Rodriguez now. Rodriguez left point, fakes it. Off to John Whitelaw at the circle, trading places. Joseph one timer shanked it. Comes into the slot. Moody turns around and fires. That was blocked. Whitelaw keeps it in. Josepher will try again. That was blocked. A auto drill, and he scores! Chris Ayotte with a howitzer from the top of the right circle. The Lakers lead by three. And it's a nice job for going back and forth from the D-men over to the forwards. They try to cycle with Whitelaw and Moody. Couldn't get it across. Josepher with a one-time opportunity. They got blocked out in front by docking. Works its way to Chris Ayotte, and like you said, Mike, a howitzer, a high riser over the goaltender Cano. It's 3-0 Oswego, and after that penalty kill, now add the goal to it. The Cardinals are reeling in the worst way. Plattsburgh just sends it to center. 15 seconds to go. Chance of na 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 na. Hey hey. Goodbye. Begin to rain down in the campus center as the fans realize the Oswego State Lakers are going to shut out their rivals here on Whiteout Night by a final score of three to nothing. And here come the towels onto the ice. What a performance by the Oswego State Lakers, and Andrew Hare puts a bow on it with a shutout. 20 shots faced unofficially for the Oswego State netminder. 20 saves made. That is just the one storyline you can take away from this one. But really, the one thing you really want to harp on is how fundamentally sound the entire evening the Lakers were. Every facet of the game, they did well. That one mistake, taking that four and a half minute plus penalties for a five on three, which could have gave Plattsburgh the opportunity to get back in this one. They took what they had, they persevered, and they did a great job of getting out of here with a big win over Plattsburgh this evening. 